I don't know what day it is. It's Tuesday, right? <laughs> it's felt like it's been Monday all week long. Because it has been rough. But it's almost over now. Five o'clock, here we come, right? That's it. I'm ready for or it. whatever time we get done. <laughs> well, how's uh, life been treating the Matco guys this week? Pretty good. Pretty good. We got uh, two of the birthdays out of the way. Got one more to go. As far as kid goes. Yeah. And uh, we'll get that over with, and Christmas will be here before we know it. There you go. Can't beat it. So. Let's not forget about Thanksgiving right before that. I like to eat, so <laughs> yeah. Thanksgiving's important too. But oh, me too. I know um, we had to go in Hobby Lobby the other day, and everybody got Christmas stuff. You can see it all above the top. I'm like, oh man. Well, if it's Hobby Lobby has early. it, that means Walmart to be next week. They'll have it all out. It's way too early for that. I get in the Christmas spirit on the like the night of the 24th when it hits me. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. So. What we got new this week? Well, we're showing off the Milwaukee fan. Okay. Um, it's actually got nine different positions that it can lock into. It's 100 deg 120 degrees is what it goes. Uh, it has, I think, it says three, yeah, three settings. Mm -hmm. The cool thing about it is it can be, it can run off your 5.0 battery. Your extra capacity 5.0 battery on low is expected to last about 17 hours. Or if you know you're going to be in one spot, it does have a cord which yep. is how we're showing it off because we're leaving it on all day every day it does uh reach up to 40 foot so it ain't got to be right up on you mm -hmm. i know some of the fans that we've sold in the past the closer it is to you uh, the better obviously that works with this one too but yep. with the highest setting up to 40 foot that's that's pretty good little ways you know most people are working uh and i say most because i know some of these shops are huge and your box is on the very mm -hmm. other end but most people's within 10 to 15 foot of their box. So if you have it sitting on your box, normally your box is plugged in. So this is plugged in. You're, you're feeling a little breeze. Right. You know, we're not trying to blow, you know, your hat off or anything, but if we can get you that cool breeze coming, uh, believe it or not, eventually we'll have that fall air again to where, <laughs> where a breeze feels like air conditioning. So we've been showing everybody. Uh, we've sold quite a few of them. They had a pretty decent price on them, so. Well, I know when the power went off, you know, what, three weeks ago, four weeks ago, however long it was, we was getting ready to go to bed, and it was quite warm. So yeah. I drove up here, I got my Milwaukee fan and a battery, and turned it on, and we survived. But it definitely made life a lot easier because of that. Yeah, that storm come through, and it was hot right after it. So mm -hmm. it, uh, it was definitely hot that night. Um, we were at without power for I think 20 something hours so uh, we didn't have none in stock at that time but if we would have we'd have been all right <laughs> y'all would have tested them out huh? yeah we'd have been all right tried them out you know we uh we were able to plug our refrigerator in off the truck leave the truck running and plug a extension mm -hmm. cord up to it had to choose between a refrigerator and an air conditioner it was like well I guess the food you can be hot but you still gotta eat right? yeah food better stay good right <laughs> Another new thing we're showing is Maco's got a new slim light out, 300 okay. lumens. Uh, it does have a UV light on the front. So, has a magnet on the bottom. We have a UV button that cuts the UV light on. Okay. And then, once you open it up, it does have an LED bar. If we hold it down, it does dim, and then we'll go back bright. That's nice right there. So, we I like those blade style lights. We're seeing lot. more and more people go to the blade style lights just for the fact of, uh, especially on your front wheel drive cars, when the belt's mm -hmm. right up against the, the or water pump, whatever's right up next to the frame rail there. Yep. You can get this in there plus the back of the engine, the back of the engine on everything, but probably, uh, I think Chevrolet has a bunch of room in their engine bay, but. Ford likes to push it all the way back and to the side, so it's yep. stuff packed, you know. Got, uh, whether it be a AC dryer or a brake booster right on top of the valve cover so you mm -hmm. can't even get it off hardly. Uh, these are easy to get down in there, look, see what's going on. Well, I know when they come out with the underhood lights, I thought, man, this is the greatest thing ever. 
The problem is when you get it up there like You're you need it, where you too. can see, and you lean over to work in it. Guess what? You got a shadow <laughs> again. So <laughs> that's it. We got rid of the uh, the drop style light. You know, the old mm. one took a regular bulb and an extension cord because those were too dangerous. Well, every time you bump something, it, it will shoot the bulb. You know, shoot and the then bulb. You'd... Yep. That sucked. So we went from that. Thought the hood lights were the greatest, and then we went, you know, big to small. So we're just at the small portion again, so blade style. Yeah. Uh, feels good in your hand. Now I am gonna throw out a pre-warning to this thing. When it first comes in, this thing is hard to open. Uh, they got it tight. So what we actually did is we actually just kind of took one of our um, disc and kind of rubbed it just a little bit just to get it to where it opens up pretty easy. So if you get yours and it's super hard to, to open, because if you got oil on your hands, you mm -hmm. don't want it to be super tight, so. Yeah. Uh, it still still latches like it was before, but it does use a little knob system there, so we just took and sanded it a little Bumped bit. A little. But now, if a customer wants it that tight, is that we got a magnet on it? It does have a magnet on the end of oh, it. Oh, that's perfect. Damn. That's so, a nice yeah. lot. Very nice. Three hundred lumens. What's the runtime on it? Uh, we got this in just the other day. And please tell me it's USB-C. Uh, I think it is USB-C. That's the best invention they ever had. Yeah, I wish everybody would go to it because you still got where they're doing the micro. micro. Yeah, and then it's going to the USB-C. I'll have to look at the paperwork to see the runtime. Because when you flip the, have you ever noticed it's kind of like a regular USB? I know you've had this happen before. You plug it in, it won't go in. You flip it over, you plug it in, it still won't go in. You go back the original way you went, and it goes in that time. So <laughs> that's it. Yeah, the the C takes care of that. Yeah. I wish they were all like that. That and the wireless charging is the best thing ever to happen with lights, in my opinion. Right. Like yep. I got that Matco Pro Charge. We showed it last week, and that one. It's like the little. I call it the hockey puck light. Yeah. Between it and that blade style light. That's that's the perfect combination of lights right there. Yes, yeah, so we sell a good bit of those. Um, people like the fact that they can, because a lot of times, especially now with phones, uh, just like mine is now, it's, it's all busted up, cracked, and everything else. If you leave it in your pocket, bend yeah. over a hood or something like that, it's, it's going to break. Put it in your back pocket, you're going to forget about it, sit down in the, uh, the car on the, I just forgot what that little spot was called. Either way, right there in the doorway so that you can look underneath the dash. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to sit down. You're going to break your phone. So a lot of people like to be able to just lay it on their toolbox. I'll tell you, I broke two phones, and I blame it on the Matco Creeper. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the ones, the hard plastic ones yeah. that I bought for me? I, I, it was the pink breast cancer one. But that thing's got such a curve to it. Yep. You'll be laying under a vehicle when you go to set up. Yep. Oh, it's, it's hell on the phone. I've been an iPhone to look like a C. <laughs> so, so between phones and debit cards it's best just to lay them on top of your box so if you got the wireless charger there just lay your phone on it yep. why not have a full battery all the time mm -hmm. plus i looked down at my phone one time when i was working in tupelo and i'd called the 911 uh, about uh -oh. seven times and it wasn't until they called me back to ask if everything was okay well i did that when we installed the lift i used i was using my hammer drill and i didn't know this but like on your Apple Watch, that little crown dial that's on the side, if you flex your wrist and you've got that pressed in and you hold it there, it's gonna call 911. Nice. So, uh, yeah, I found that out the, the <laughs> interesting way. I'll put it that way. <laughs> I was like, hey guys, what, what y'all doing here? Yeah, we got a 911 call. I was like, I well, I'm drilling holes in concrete man we're good <laughs> so luckily they didn't uh they didn't come to me they called back now i'm sure if i hadn't answered but when you look down and it says emergency number you, mm -hmm. you answer but uh the runtime on this the paperwork says uh three hours on high or eight on low oh, that's so good. we'll average it about three hours and 30 minutes because everybody's gonna have it on high so yep. uh, that's good but pretty good little light good enough well for you guys that did watch last week's video, or if you missed last week's video, we're doing the giveaway on the, the green lock and flex head ratchet. So go to that video and watch it so you can get entered to win it because somebody's going to win it two weeks from today because that's, that's how it works. 
So. Christmas in August. Didn't That's we it. just talk about that at the beginning of the week? <laughs> I'm at the beginning of the day. Video. There we go. That's it. All right, guys. Like always, thanks for hanging out with us. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Check over for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes in the description. If you're not subscribed, take your finger, click that button. Y'all have a great week. Weekend. See ya.